in the kitchen. We are putting together a perfect picnic basket for your summer day out. We have some great food here, some great ideas. We have Alexandra Hadeen with Weeknight Society in studio with us today. You have such a beautiful display it's here. It's always so Thank fun. You. Welcome. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining us. having me back. So what are the basics for a good picnic? Because we are in the midst of the summer picnic season. Yes, and it's not raining anytime soon. It right? Looks like, right? Be, right? So you can't go on a picnic. <laughs> the basics of a picnic is that you're planning a party. So when you think about planning a picnic, think about what you do for a party. So have games and activities that are appropriate for the for age outside, group that you have. Or okay, outside. bubbles. Bubbles so are not fun. So age group. group. Yes, make sure there's something that people are going to do other than just sit and eat. Because that's fun, but right. it does get a little bit old. Um, and then have something to sit on that's appropriate for your where you're going to. Here we have the beach, we have the woods, we have the park. So choose something that you want to sit on that if it gets wet or sandy or damp, you're okay with that. You're covered. And I see the chalk here. That's a great idea if you're out near a sidewalk. Yes. yes. Fantastic. Yes. Even um, coloring on rocks, my kids love to do that. It's really fun. And wash oh, that out. is fun. But so most you, importantly. Okay, let's get to the food. food. <laughs> we need to get to eat. Right. And picnics, you always used to think, oh, you had to take fried chicken or potato salad. But then right. it's always an effort to keep it cold. So what are you thinking in Instead. Yes, I love fried chicken and potato salad. Yes, yeah, so I can't go wrong. <laughs> uh, but I made a quinoa salad, and I call it my farmer's market quinoa salad okay. because it's with everything that you can find right now at the farmer's market. So I have some um, sugar snap peas and green beans that I blanched. Okay, so you just cooked them a little bit. I just cooked them mm -hmm. for just minutes until okay. they this beautiful bright green color that you see Ooh, there. Yes, looks great. Um, and this is tossed into cooked quinoa. Here's the cooked quinoa secret. Okay. You put one cup quinoa and two cups water in a dish like this that's okay. microwavable, mm -hmm. cover it with plastic wrap, put it in the microwave for like five minutes the first time. It'll absorb all that water. If it hasn't and you still see tons of water, give it another couple minutes and then let it rest for five minutes. You don't stir you it in have, between that? Nope. That's no it? Need. That's it. Wow. You will have perfectly fluffy quinoa. Oh my wow. gosh, that is so I've been easy. This. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> easy. Okay, so we have our peas and our green beans in our very easy uh, quinoa. And then we're going to add corn. This is just right off the cob. Cut right off the cob because wow. that's the best way. It smells great. Uh, some almonds. Almonds. Okay, wouldn't have guessed. And Ooh, this and that is the great. surprise ingredient. Yeah. Blackberries. Into this. Yes, into this. They are so epic right now. Wow. Uh, all of us Look before, when they, they saw them sitting on the table, came over and they were like, blackberries are so good. <laughs> I just wouldn't have thought to put that I in I wouldn't there, either. Ever. The combination uh, the is combination, what surprises yes, me. Yes, but all that savory and with that sweet bite of the blackberry, it's perfect. And the next secret is the dressing. I just make it ahead and put it in a mason jar because then you just... Eat super Shake easy. it up Simple. and it's right. done. So this is a homemade blue cheese and it's really easy. It's Greek yogurt, fresh blue cheese, and a little bit of champagne vinegar. So it's actually a little bit healthier than what you would find yes, in the store. Yes, in a normal blue cheese, right? Great, right? Yes, Greek right. yogurt. And I'm sure it's still just as delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow, yes. that looks wonderful. And I like that you put them in these little Tupperwares. That here. is the cutest thing. So you pack your things up a bit differently. Those are like single servings. Yes, when you pack it like this in a single serving container, these are great because you just hand them out to the people. Right. We're right. not trying to bring and dish something up. And serve it out Can we to taste? People. Alexander? Absolutely. Dig and in. quickly, I see that you have trash bags. Great idea, because I always forget that. Well, the when you're throwing up, a party, oh, that is such you a good have idea. to clean up from your party. <laughs> right. So don't forget trash bags and paper mm, towels and baby right. wipes. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to the beach, take um, baby powder, because it takes sand off really easily. Oh, so, haven't thought of that. Be ready. Also, don't forget beverages. Right, and there's What's lots of single serving things oh. available as well yes, too. Yes, absolutely. Okay, tell us again about your app because we like to see what you're up to. So my app, and this is actually mm. a recipe from the app. My app is Weeknight Society, weeknightsociety.com. And it's um, weeknight menu planning and recipes for families. So it's easy 20 minute recipes that you can do with your family and with your kids. Perfect. This is so good. Fun. Yum. Isn't that delicious? I love it. Mm -hmm. I'll have to put that up on the Portland Today Facebook page. Yum. <laughs> mm. And on our app. Thank you.